Jesus wants to speak, so I'm going to speak with Jesus. Come divine will, come speak in my speaking, come breathe in my breathing, come think in my thinking. And I fuse his teaching into the divine will. The book of Exodus, chapter 27, verse 20. You shall command the, Israel, the sons of Israel to bring you pure beaten olive oil for the light, that a lamp may be set up to burn continually. In other translations, it talks about pure oil made from crushed olives to be used for the light. So that a lamp may be set to burn continually in the tent of meeting outside the veil, which is before the covenant, or the Ark of the Covenant. Aaron and his sons shall tend to it from evening to morning before the Lord. It shall be a statute for ever to be observed throughout their generations by the sons of Israel. So, pure oil made from crushed olives. You felt crushed lately? You felt like things when they go wrong you feel that bit of bruising a bit of overwhelmed and so on this is a normal feeling that can happen especially when you're journeying in the spiritual life sometimes you can feel absolutely crushed sometimes it's just a word a sentence that somebody's spoken or a situation that completely crushes you, makes you feel crushed. Now remember the, the word feeling is the word feel is feeling, it's feeling crushed. And you might think, where is God in this? Now, just bear in mind, we never ask where is God in this when we're having a time of consolation. We only ever seem to question God when it comes to the crosses that He sends and when we feel perhaps crushed. Jesus began his passion in the Garden of Gethsemane, the oil press, as it were, the Mount of Olives, where the oil, the olives were, gave, gave the oil for the Jerusalem temple. This is where Jesus began his passion. And this is where we can begin our own passion we can actually, as it were, enter into that garden and we can experience this crushing sensation, which is a contradiction of the constellations we've had so far. But Jesus needs to needs for us to endure that crushing because it produces a powerful anointing. It produces pure oil. That pure oil is used for the lampstand outside of the veil. Now, Jesus elsewhere talks about the veil in the Divine World Diaries. He talks about how the divinity is veiled in the whole of creation, in everything. And the veil is removed by the children of the Divine Will, because we can see that whereas a plant might just be something pretty in nature, in reality, it's proclaiming, I love you. And we can speak how I love you back. A bird song might not be understood by anybody. But when we hear it, we're hearing Jesus saying, I love you. And we can reciprocate, I love you, because the veil is being lifted. However, that lampstand still has to burn. You still have to burn brightly. And the only way it's going to happen is when the Lord fills you with that clear oil made from a crushed olive. The olive must be crushed for the oil to flow. So don't see the crushing experience as a negative. Even though something bad, in a sense, might have happened in your life to produce that crushing feeling, God is taking that bad experience and he's producing something glorious. The anointing is ever on the increase. The divine will is ever on the increase. The grace of living in this is ever on the increase. Don't be discouraged. Be filled with hope that the experience you're having is producing good oil. Powerful anointing. Fiat.